Say hello to my subscribers right there. Uh, we we part of the company. We we part of that guy right there. It's the best mechanic there. Yeah, and yeah, uh, now he's an influencer in YouTube. No. <laughs> Serious. That's one of the best mechanics in the D &D. Cole's law, codeology. Sparkle Cubs. I'm here to enforce Holmes law. Be great, man. Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? Welcome to Holmes Law. My name is Mel. Today, we're going to be doing Quick Bends, the app. Basically, a tutorial, somewhat. But, um, <clears throat> today we're going to be talking about bender specs. So, basically, I just want to give you guys a rundown on all the features that this app has. And this is no way a, you know, recommendation of this app at all whatsoever it's been requested okay so i actually downloaded it and i took a look at the app and it does have some valuable information that i want to share with you guys so i decided if you're going to use an app you know i might as well show you how to use it correctly okay me personally i like to you know calculate my own <clears throat> bends and and whatever the case may be um uh, but if this is something that you prefer then i might as well show you all the valuable information that you have on this app okay and i will be doing a series of videos okay we're going to start off with the bender spec feature and then i'll work my way down to the quick center and the multiple bends options okay so we'll try to make this a quick video so let's start off with the um select bender option you can actually select the bender okay by just tapping on it and they have from current tools to greenlee all the way to klein garden of benders the ideal and even milwaukee okay so if you can see here it has almost everything and we are going to start with my favorite bender here okay i'm not going to go through all the benders but um you know pretty much it's all going to be the same but i'm just going to show you the options that you have for every single bender you know <clears throat> so we'll start with the bender specs and as you see here it has the bender on the top that you selected the type of emt the type of conduit you're working with and the size four inch okay so it starts by giving you the bender specs all right so that's the specs for this actual bender and for the size conduit that you actually selected okay so it gives you the center line radius okay for that four inch emt okay now what do you use the center line radius for well you know you can actually use it mostly what you want to use it for is when you're doing concentric bends okay if you want to know what the first reference conduit radius center line radius is going to be it gives it gives you the value right here okay 20 and 7 8 word of advice i always like to measure my radius myself uh, for my reference conduit because sometimes you know every bender is not created equal the center line radius value can vary from bender to bender okay so word of advice i would always just actually figure that out myself and you know just double check <clears throat> to see whether it is correct or not and it looks like this app actually lets you adjust that for that reason too okay so you can actually add to that radius or deduct or simply just go back to the value that started with okay moving right along the deduct is self-explanatory okay so that's basically what you're going to deduct from your stub height in order to get that stub height okay i'm not going to go too much into detail on that now the gain is you know there's a lot of ways you can use the gain okay i'm not going to go into every single way i have a video on how you can use the gain to actually you know calculate total length for conduit or whatever the case may be but in a nutshell basically this is the value that you want to deduct for every 90 that you bend on a length of conduit to find the total length for that conduit 
okay say if you wanted to make box sets or if you wanted to thread it or just simply you just want to know because you want to cut it to the exact size and then make your, your 90 degree bend so you want to know how much you need that's what the game would be used for okay next is the setback one of my favorites okay this right here is a time saver and if you're working with large conduit you're gonna actually thank me okay so basically what the setback is one of the reasons you want to use it is it's a reference point from the back of the 90 okay to the duck mark <clears throat> excuse me so let's just say for an example you wanted to do a 90 degree bend with a kick 20 inches from the back of the 90 well very simple you can lay out both marks without having to bend the 90 and take it out and then measure from the back of the 90 to make your second mark for the kick you don't have to do that what you, you can simply do is lay out your 90 degree bend okay let's just say you wanted a uh, you know I don't know let's just say you wanted a, a 40 a 40 a 40 inch stub okay so basically you take your 40 inch stub and you deduct 32 and a quarter okay and that leaves you with seven and three quarters right so from that seven and three quarters okay from that deduct mark let's just say you from the back let's just say you wanted a kick from the back of the 90 20 inches okay what you simply do is from where you just put your deduct mark okay where you just measured and laid out your 90 from that last mark where you're gonna actually place your bender and uh, your, your uh your conduit in the bender and bend from that mark you measure 20 inches because you want that kick 20 inches away from the back of the 90 plus the setback okay so you would measure 37 and a half inches and that mark right there where you mark it that's where you're gonna place your conduit so that you can kick it and it'll land 20 inches away from the back of the 90 okay so it's just an easy and quick way to lay it out without having to remove it from the actual bender twice okay so it's a time saver you know and it just helps once you start learning how to use the setback i'm telling you it's it's a lot easier and it just makes sense okay moving right along you have the 90 degree bend here and the travel for the 90 and the radius adjustment for that 90 degree angle okay so basically what you would use the travel for is basically it, it says the developed length for that bend <clears throat> but a way to use that travel value is let's just say you know you're not using a digital level or a protractor you can use this value here to make the 90 degree bend you simply just mark it twice once on the conduit and then directly across from that mark you want to mark it on a point on your bender so that you can see when the when you start bending it as that conduit moves forward so is that mark okay but where you started off as at you still have a mark there as well so as your mark is moving forward once it gets to the value of 32 and 13 16 inches apart from the first mark that you started from you know you have a complete 90 but this does not take into account spring back so you do have to bend a little bit past to get you know into account for that spring back lastly the radius adjustment is simply half of the travel okay it simply is from the start of the bend to the center of that 90 degree bend it's 16 and 3 8 okay now what's cool about this is that you can actually change the degree of bend okay and get the travel and radius adjustment values changes as well so you can get all of any of them any of the travels that you want for that okay and it's and it's simply there so let's just say i wanted to do <clears throat> excuse me 
a 15 degree offset okay and I wanted to know what the radius adjustment is for that all right it's two and three quarters so now let's just say I'm at the edge of an obstruction and I want my offset to be right next I wanted to make that bend right near that obstruction you know so that I'm perfectly aligned with it well I need to you know I need to adjust it two and three quarters for, so that I can clear so that my bend clears that obstruction okay anyways I'll post the links in the description so that you can see these videos that I have that explain all of these topics further okay now for the next video what I'm gonna end up doing is we'll go into the quick center options and I'll explain all of these values for you and I'll also explain how to use the multiple bends feature here as well okay so I hope this video was useful to you and if it was I'd appreciate a like please also consider subscribing you know and um, if you have any recommendations on another video for this app or any any video whatsoever, you can actually make a comment or you can contact me on Facebook, Instagram, I'm on almost any social media. You can find me on Snapchat as well. We have a we have a community uh, a group there too that's called uh, Conduitology or the Art of Conduit Bending that you can join. Uh, we have a community on Reddit now that's new as well. It's also called Conduitology. We have a Facebook group that's called The Art of Conduit Bending that you can request to join. All you got to do is answer a few questions and agree to the rules. And that's pretty much it. Uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Mel, again, and I'm out.